Mama just killed a man. Put a gun against his head. Pull my trigger now, he's dead. Mama. Bye. Life had just begun. But now I've gone and thrown it all away. Mama. Ooh. Little bit of way you cry. If I'm not back again, this all tomorrow. Carry on, carry on. As if nothing really matters. I don't know about you, but sometimes, once in a while, I get this sudden urge to check up on that random someone that I met on the plane about five or six years ago and we remained friends or connected on social media and I've been silently watching their life unfolding through a screen for the past five to six years. I just have this random urge to check up on them again and we never talked, we never really talked. We only met briefly once we exchanged some pleasant words on the plane and we told each other, let's keep in touch. And we kept in touch, not really. We kept each other's in our life, but at a safe distance, so as to not get too emotionally invested, to not get hurt, you know? We kept each other at a distance, but we still want to keep in touch. Can somebody Describe to me what this phenomenon is called, where we like to keep other people in our lives, and yet we never reached out, we never went anywhere beyond just a random stranger that we became friends with online. This is a real story. I did meet someone on the plane. There was this girl, she was a couple of years younger than me. And um, we were on our flights from Vietnam to Australia. And I live in Tasmania, so we both had to land in Melbourne before I catch my next flight to Tasmania. And um, we didn't talk for the whole flight. It's not until the very end where they started giving us forms to write on. This was, by the way, I think it's called a uh, de declaration of goods being brought to Australia. Like you, you got to declare if you are bringing some sort of food, some sort of money into Australia. You know those forms. Yeah, customs. I think that's what they call. So yeah, she, um, it was the first time she comes to Australia. So there's a lot of things she didn't understand. And this form was one of those things. So she turned to me and um, she saw that I was holding a Vietnamese passport. So she started speaking Vietnamese to me. And then that's how the conversation started. She told me she's coming here to Australia to study and she's gonna live with her relatives. She doesn't know anyone. And so we started talking naturally as strangers. It's so easy to open up to strangers <laughs> for some reason. It's just because you don't have that expectation. You don't really know this person. So it's a blank canvas. You can portray yourself any way you want. You wanna, if you wanna be authentic, you can. You can be very vulnerable with strangers online with strangers in real life because you know you're probably not going to see this person again so for a moment you get to be yourself your full self you get to tell them your deepest darkest secrets because you know that you're not going to get hurt it's very unlikely that you two are going to run into each other again human psychology is very weird and up until this day i still don't understand this phenomenon yeah, 
sometimes I still peri- periodically check up on her, seeing how her life is unfolding, her new life in Australia. First car, first job, and I'm silently watching from distance, and I'm silently cheering on for her. But I don't think, I don't think it's gonna go anywhere beyond that. Just friends, on social media, and likewise, I wonder how you guys are feeling about me. You guys are just watching from a distance. Maybe some of you are praying for my downfall. Maybe it's over. Why are you still watching? Maybe you're silently cheering on for me. You're vouching for me because you want me to win. You want me to succeed. I don't know. I also like watching people from a distance. Sometimes I like to check up on my ex-girlfriend. I like to stalk her Facebook. I like to look through. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I can't be serious. I can't talk in this voice, man. <laughs> no, we 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 actually unfriended each other. So I don't I don't follow my past relationships. Um, Facebook it does trigger some bad memories. So that's why I don't do it. But I'm talking about platonic friendships. Some random ass people that I met on my commute um, at a hostel, maybe at a hotel I'm staying at on a flight. Yeah, those sorts of people. Some of them I added them as friends. Some of them I kept their phone number. Um, but those that I added on social media, sometimes I like to check up on them. And I'm so glad that they are doing well. I'm so glad that you guys are doing well. Anyways, hope you guys are doing well. Stay strong. God bless. Um, I'm gonna go to work now. I, ha- I hope you have an amazing day or night wherever you are. And I'll speak to you very soon.